What's up, YouTube? Man, I'm back with another video. And right now, man, I'm just gonna talk to y'all, bro. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have in this vlog because, like I said, on this iPhone, the storage is always messing with me. It's always giving me somewhat of a hard time. And like I tell y'all, go subscribe to my other channel, Willard Bahim. And besides that, man, we here. And um, what time is it? I don't know what time it is. Uh, the Android is right there behind the iPhone. But we just going to have a little, you know, update. But, like, I'm tired of doing these updates because y'all know I just be leaving for, like, months at a time. But now I'm about to stay frequent. You know what I'm saying? I got to because the moment of life I'm in right now is, like, I got enough love in me for both channels. Uh, the other channel is obviously about spirituality being a chosen one and over there we're just gonna keep it you know frank with y'all and we're just gonna keep you know filling you in on what it means to be a chosen one and why we are chosen and the lifestyle of a chosen one now over here we we can obviously talk about what we want but this is my daily vlog <laughs> channel if y'all skim through my later later years of you know like the i started this channel probably last year or some you know something and I think I had a channel before this one, but, you know, I'm just looking to stay consistent at this point. Like, I'm looking to just stand on whatever it is I'm standing on and stop moving, you know, the needle and stop moving, the, you know, the mark every time, you know, you get going with something, you got to stay consistent. But we ain't here to talk about that. Uh, this is actually just a regular vlog. But what's funny is I'm not doing nothing today. Like. I haven't done nothing all day. Uh, I got some canned fruit right here. I'm probably about to eat some some of this. Right? I don't even know. Y'all know I really be trying to fast. Like, I really be trying my hardest to fast. Um, Y'all know my diet is a fruit. Fru um, my diet is a frugivore diet, right? That means you eat nothing but fruit. Nothing but fruit. And, um... When I'm on a cheat day, uh, well, not even a cheat day, but, like, I got a schedule where I can go off and I can eat vegetarian, right? And then I got my um, days where I'm just fasting. And it's, like, one day out the week or two days out the week where I'm just nothing, no fruit, right? No, not even no fruit, right? So I, I, I've realized there's a gradient of things, you know, from air. So you got people who just do breathitarian. Then you got green, you got fruit. Then you got, I mean, you got water people, you got fruit people, you got greens, you got uh, people, then who, people who eat meat and stuff like that. And I'm, and I'm the person who I'm really like, really I'm vegetarian, but I'm healing in the healing season. So I'm really just doing just completely just like fruit. I got some canned pineapples right here. I didn't even buy these, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day is like, um, at the end of the day is like, you got to just eat what you, you know, what you got sometimes. I don't really got no money. I'm really in the grind season, grind mode. Uh, and yeah, so, uh, follow my new Instagram too, like Willard Shakir, Willard Shakir, Willard same name you see here in the s-h-a-k-i-r all together and go follow me on instagram because at the end of the day bro i got nothing but time on my hands a lot of days like and it's like bro if i want to be a vlogger why ain't i you know what i'm saying why ain't i just doing it like it's like it get to a point where it's like you got it in you bro like my other channel is is doing decent like so i got it in me like i'm not confused about that no more i don't see no you know it's not an impossibility thing for me but i had to get right with god really like that was the last straw that i found in my life like i had to get right with god because i was going through a lot of stuff like for years honestly because i just was always off balance somehow but i realized like through a lot of therapy and, uh, and then figuring out who i am in christ like and stuff like that like i figured out like where I be misstepping at in my life and like I found like mad little things that be going on and it still be trying to creep in you know because Satan just ain't gonna give you over like that but 
I found like a little court where I could really just be myself and be happy, be a regular person and stop, you know, overshooting the mark because when you don't got God in your life, you know, you could be a player, right? You could be a guy who know game and know how to talk to women. But when you don't got God in your life, you will never have boundaries. Like you'll never stop like, okay, she the one, let me chill out. But let me still have some women, but let me like take her serious because God, you know, he left certain rules here on the planet for us to follow. So it'll just make you a better man. I'm not saying you're gonna be perfect. That's my whole point I'm trying to really get at. But I'm not here to talk your ears off. I hate talking and I like showing. I do have daily schedules for myself, Monday to, to Monday. So on this channel, it's beautiful because I could just kind of get right with y'all as far as that. Um, on my other channel, it's more direct and about being a chosen one. You know, five five minute videos, eight minute videos over there. Over here is more so daily. So it's really pranks, mukbangs, uh, just like lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So over here is more fun and it's more free. Uh, over there is more business. It's more like when I say business, what I mean by that is like, like say like, say I like to preach. I like to talk like it's more straight to the point. Like it's more straight to the, you know, to the point. Yeah. But over here is more so like, you know, supposed to be fun. This vlog isn't fun. I know, but it's supposed to be. It's just a vlog channel and social life and stuff like that. Really on the, the, ironically enough, the other channel, the first video is about social circles. So that that channel started off as a self man, man coach, like be a better man. And I honestly feel like I built myself further from that channel uh, to where I am today. And, uh, I got a couple friends now, you feel me? A couple, but we're still like phone friends. We're not really in person. And I'm cool with that because, you know, my journey different than everybody else's. My journey, you know, my cousin got a whole roommate off of online. Online is the new, you know, we didn't have this back in the day when we were young. So all the friends came from our neighborhood and from school. But now we actually could make a true friend across the world or across countries or states or whatever. And those could be your future real, real friends. Like, because what used to be, we used to be confined to the neighborhood. As we grow and hit age 18 and up, we're now not confined to the neighborhood. You know, I could be in New York tomorrow and in PA the next day and in Brid uh, Bridgeport the next day and Arkansas the next day and you know and that's a part of being not codependent and being your own man or woman and what's funny is like i i was trying to do both like i was trying to keep these nine to five jobs and like also like do this youtube stuff and i'm like bro you it's like water crashing up against the rocks like it's just not it's just not smooth bro it, it, it could work it could work and if y'all go back on this channel, y'all see, I, I was trying my best. But, like, I found, like, bro, you got to kind of be all in with the YouTube stuff because it's just taking up more time, bro, for you to be trying to do this security job and then try to do YouTube when you get home. It's like, it can work that way. But for me, I found, like, that's why I said God, bro. Because instead of going to that 9 to 5 job, I should be going to not even church but just learning learning le letting god talk to me like and even i even replaced the nine to five job with watching chosen one videos because what's funny is that they be talking directly to me that's what made me become a chosen you know know that i was a chosen one because the message was like in sync with where i was exactly in my life and exactly what i, what I was going through so that was a big thing as far as me opening my eyes to God too. It's like, there's no way that these chosen ones is, is saying everything I'm going through and it's making sense. So that helped me to even transition to what type of man I am. Cause I'm like, that channel started off as being a man coach, right? But 
as I went on my journey, 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 you stumble across certain things. You're like, wait, hold on. Even though I want to be this player, or I want to be this cool guy, this smooth operator guy, that could still be in your deck of cards, but look at what God doing over here. And it's like, this is more amazing than all of that. You see what I'm saying? And you know, you reach a certain point where you're like, I gotta grow up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, because I'm not 18 anymore. I use the 18 analogy as a reference point to where most people should start to live a more sturdy life. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little heap over 20, so like you know what i'm saying i don't really got time to play like and i'm happy i'm not playing right now because there's people way older than me will be kind of playing around kind of playing around and whatnot and so um it get tricky man it, it definitely get tricky and and um it get tricky it just get tricky so uh, life is real tricky. I do a lot of shadow work. I'm not a big fan of the canned. Canned anything. Not at all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And getting right on my other channel made me more comfortable with y'all, I feel like. Cause we, we miss 